Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. Today, we will be teaching you how to tackle a tough reads question that would normally confuse many students. But with the right technique, these questions can be very manageable. We call this reads question a productivity question to help students remember what needs to be done to tackle the question. The question is, Andy, Ben and Charlie work together to paint a wall. If the painting was done by one person only, the time taken to complete painting the wall for Andy, Ben and Charlie would have been 6 hours, 8 hours and 12 hours respectively. Andy and Ben had painted for 2 hours after which Andy went to take a break. Ben and Charlie then continued with the painting until they had finished painting the wall. They started painting the wall at 9.10am. At what time would they finish painting the wall? Firstly, in Polymath Learning Center, we teach you how to identify a concept rather than just teaching you the solution. A productivity question is rather easy to identify. You are given two or more people or objects that can complete doing something at different rates. For example, the question can tell you that tap A can fill a complete tank in two hours while tap D can fill a complete tank in five hours. Or John can finish building a wall in five days while Tom can only finish building a wall in eight days. Moving on to the solution, we are first given the time taken for three people to complete painting a wall if they had worked alone. Andy would have taken six hours, Ben would have taken eight hours, and Charlie would have taken 12 hours. Now, how can we use this information to help us answer the question? If multiple people painted the wall at the same time, we cannot simply add up the time taken as it does not make any sense. For example, if Andy and Payne painted together, we cannot add 6 and 8 hours together to get 14 hours as Andy alone will have finished painting in 6 hours, much less say with the help of Ben. We can use this information if we find the rate of painting of each person. That is why we call this question a productivity question as different people have different productivity and thus can work at different rates. Since Andy can paint one wall in 6 hours, his productivity is 1 over 6 wall per hour, which is derived from taking one wall and dividing it by 6 hours. Likewise, Ben's productivity is 1 over 8 wall per hour, and Charlie's productivity is 1 over 12 wall per hour. Now that we have these rates, we can add them together. If two people work together to paint the same wall, the wall will be painted at their combined rates. So remember, the duration in which people will take to finish doing something cannot be added together. But if you find their per hour or per minute rate, you can sum them together. Moving on, we were told that Andy and Ben first worked together on the wall for 2 hours. Therefore, we add up both of their productivity to get 7 over 24 wall per hour. Since they worked together for 2 hours, we take their combined rate and multiply it by 2 hours and find that they had painted 7 over 12 of the wall in 2 hours, leaving 5 over 12 of the wall that was left unpainted. We then find the combined rate of Ben and Charlie, which amounts to 5 over 24 wall per hour. Since there was only 5 over 12 of the wall that is left unpainted, we take this amount divided by 5 over 24. We get 2 hours, meaning that Ben and Charlie will take 2 hours to finish painting the remaining wall. Since the question told us that Andy and Ben have painted for 2 hours, and we now know that Andy and Charlie will take another 2 hours to finish painting the wall, the total time taken for the 3 people to paint the wall will be 2 plus 2, 4 hours. We add 4 hours to the starting time of 9.10am to get an answer of 1.30pm. There you have it. A productivity question can be really simple, no? Just remember, in order to get a rate that you can add with multiple people working together, you must first find the per hour rates of each person as only rates can be added together and the duration cannot be added together. Until the next video, have a great day. Goodbye.